Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, if you're new to the channel, I am a digital marketer. I specialize in helping artists like yourself get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, like Instagram, like YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I want to do today, guys, is to detail the strategy that I use to find Spotify playlists. I'm pretty much about to give you guys a major key if you don't already know. Now, as far as I know, no one else has talked about this. So from this point on, we're going to call it Corey's About Section Playlist Strategy. Something like that. You'll understand why once you watch the rest of the video, but for right now, that's what we're going to call it. Now, this strategy came out of this Spotify guide that I recently put out. Um, in the guide, I pretty much detail different ways that you can find playlists, playlist pitching etiquette, and I also include a list of playlist curators out of my own directory. I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below if you want to go ahead and check it out. But like I was saying, this strategy started out being detailed in this guide, and after putting it out, kind of seeing the feedback from it, and really just thinking about it, I decided that it's information that other people probably should know, so here we are with this video. But before we get into all of that, come follow me on Instagram. I'll make sure to put my at name on the screen below. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all of that. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Spotify. Now, for this, you will need Spotify's desktop version. As far as I know, it doesn't work on mobile. So if you don't have it on your laptop or your desktop, just go ahead and download it and do so. Now, the next thing that you'll need to do is go to a playlist that you know takes submissions. Whether you know they take submissions because you've seen them ask for it before, because you've worked with them, or because you know someone that's been placed on that before, just find one that you know for a fact takes submissions from up and coming artists. So here we are on Gunner Dripper John 2. Now, this is a playlist that's been created by a curator I've worked with before so this is the one that I'm going to use for my example now next you'll want to scroll through the playlist and find an artist that a you've never heard of and B has no more than 50,000 listeners on um, 50,000 monthly listeners ideally you want it to be less but try not to go any higher than that and I'll explain why a little later in the video so let's just scroll through this playlist and I'll keep going so I see someone I've never heard of so here's a guy right here lyrical bars I personally never heard of lyrical bars if you have cool but I personally never have so you want to click on that page and go to their profile so here we are on lyrical bar's profile um he fits within the quota he only has 3,000 monthly listeners, so that's perfect. So next, what you'll want to do is go to their artist about section. And here it is, their typical about section, their bio, their info. But the side that's going to be the most helpful for you is over here, Discovered On. Now, what Discovered On does is it shows the top five playlists that have been driving traffic to an artist. So in his case, these are the top five playlists that he's on that have been driving traffic to him. So you have this phase playlist, Lifting Heavy Ass Weights, XXX Tentacion, Rap World, Gonna Drip a Drown. Now, the reason you want to find an artist you've never heard of that are on these playlists is because more likely than not, they are an artist that has either figured it out or found someone that has figured it out. Meaning either they have found a system to find playlists to place themselves on, or they are working with someone who has access to these playlists and is placing them. Either way, this is a huge cheat code for you because it's basically someone that has already done the work for you. So once you find the playlist, it's just a matter of clicking through to them to see if they have some type of contact information. So let's check out this phase playlist. So here it is, phase. Let's see if they have something. And boom, there it is. Phase has a Twitter that you can reach out to them to once your track added contact unheard rap on twitter and that's pretty much the process this is one of the major ways that i've used to find playlists and it works guys like trust me like i built out my my contact list of over 500 plus playlists using this method and the reason that you want to use artists that you've never heard of artists that are more than likely indie artists is because the bigger rappers you're not going to get much information from their profile so let's check out gunner for example if we go to gunner's about section we see his top playlists are rap caviar get turned the global top 50 most necessary and that's why it doesn't work because they're going to be on playlists that most likely you don't have access to and you can't work but these indie artists who are being placed onto these playlists like i said they are someone who has either figured it out or they have someone on on their team that has figured it out for them and they're essentially doing the hard work for you so it's just a matter of finding these playlists rinsing and repeating guys finding these playlists finding more artists that are inside the playlist seeing what other playlists they're on reaching out to them and then building your network out from there so i hope this helps you guys out like i said this is something that i personally use to find my playlist list it's something that i still do it works i mean it helps with finding growing playlists and even bigger playlists and it's something that i hope helps you guys out in the long run 
So there we have it, guys. That is Corey's About Section Strategy. It's a strategy that I personally use to find hundreds of playlists in 2018. It's one that I'm currently using to find new playlists every single week. And it's one that I hope does you guys some justice and helps you all in finding playlists as you go on. Now, like I said earlier in the video, it's also something that came out of my new Spotify guide. Like I said, the guide pretty much has playlist pitching etiquette, um, different ways that you can use to find playlists like websites and methods like the About Section Strategy. And it also has a list of curated contacts that you can use to get yourself started you know hopefully to jump start the process and to show you that it is possible it's something that i've done and it's something that you can do as well now just for you guys you know if you come and sign up on my email list which will also be in the description below i'll give you guys a coupon code to get a discount off of the book you know help you save a little bit of money here and there on it help you guys out since y'all help me out so often now as always guys if you feel like you learned anything today please like and share this video hit those post notifications as well as i wouldn't want you guys to miss anything once again my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.